Hey Gamblers fans, Noah Fish here, and here are the top 10 plays from the 2022-2023 season. Up first at number 10, we have Jaden Davis taking it into the zone here. He's going to curl up and find Carter Rose coming off the bench. Rose's shot from the top of the circle would beat Jacob Fowler's stick side and put Green Bay on the board and start their comeback that would lead to a 3-2 overtime victory. At number 9, we head on out to Muskegon for this heavyweight bout between Josh Player and Muskegon's Owen Keith. Josh Player was acquired midway through the season from the Bishop Gurney Selects and made an impact immediately. Staying on his feet here and peppering the Jacks defenseman with rights before eventually dragging him to the ground. Green Bay would go on to lose this game 4-2. At number 8, we head back to the rest where the boys take on Chicago. A turnover in our zone leads to a deflected shot that gets behind Christopher Eberle. Inches away from becoming a goal, Eberle turns around and makes the athletic diving stop to keep this puck from crossing the goal line. Eberle was solid in net for us all year, recording 25 wins on the season, including this one where he led the Gamblers to a 3-1 victory over the Steel. At number seven, home against the Steel again, off the tip feed, Jason Chagobe splits the Steel defense and finishes with a beauty backhand to tie it up 2-2. Two two. This was Chagobe's first game back after being named Mr. Hockey at the Minnesota State High School Tournament. After this, Gino, you could just tell that Shogs was glad to be back home. Gamblers would go on to lose this in a shootout 5-4. At number six, the boys took on the Fighting Saints at home. The strong forecheck from Eli Sebastian leads to the puck popping out to Artem Levshinov, where he toe drags around the Dubuque defender and snipes it home. This bottle popping goal would be the lone marker as Green Bay would go on to win one to nothing. At number five in the final seconds at Chicago, Jimmy Clark and Barrett Hall get loose on the two on one. With no time to spare, Clark dishes it to Hall who hammers home the one timer as the clock expires. This goal may not have been our top play of the year, but this Selly was definitely one of the best. This buzzer beater would stand and seal the deal for a 4-3 victory over Chicago. At number four, we have Hall and Clark again. Off the draw to start the period, Green Bay dumps it into the zone where Hall wins the puck and finds a wide open Jimmy Clark in the slot. Clark would bury this feed and give Green Bay a 3-2 lead, but unfortunately, Green Bay would go on to lose this in a shootout 5-4. At number three, we have some three-on-three -three overtime play where Artem Levchinov gets the puck off the draw and settles things down behind the net. Levchinov takes this time, leading the rush before he eventually finds a lane on the outside and a wide open Mikey D'Angelo on the back door. The great feed from Levchinov and the quick release from D'Angelo give Green Bay the 3-2 overtime victory. At number two, we have Highlight Halsey doing his thing. Starting in the defensive zone, Barrett weaves his way end to end, goes between the legs of the Jacks defender, and picks it up on the other side to bury at five hole. Hall bounced the puck off both of the defenders' skates before scoring this goal that would put Green Bay on the board and start the comeback. Gamblers would go on to win this game six to three. Finally, at number one in the first round of the playoffs, Bodie Nobes picks off this pass and hits the Fighting Saints with a dirty spinorama and toe drag combo before sniping at home. This was on the penalty kill and would bring the Gamblers within one before eventually falling short three to two. Don't miss out on all the highlights we have coming up next year as season tickets and flex plans for the 2023-2024 season are on sale now. Learn more at our website at gamblershockey.com. And as always, go Gamblers.